Hi, my name is Dave Clark. I'm president of Fulcrum Speedworks. We're the manufacturer of the Foiling UFO, the single most cost-effective and user-friendly foiling sailboat in the world. And I've got a story to tell you now about how we made it also the most environmentally friendly foiling sailboat in the world. I grew up inside a boat building shop. I've been boat building my entire life and I love building boats and I love boats because they allow you to have this transcendent experience with nature and they're fast and they're exciting and they're sort of live. And building boats is a fascinating thing but the only thing that I hate about it when you build boats is that you also build trash. So much trash. Just trash, 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 trash. And this just goes straight into the ocean along with the boat. Well, no, not actually. It goes into a landfill. But you might as well be throwing it into the ocean. This is the bit that keeps me up at night when I build boats. This is the thing that's been bugging me about this whole thing, this whole process, is how do we not make trash? How do we build boats but not make trash alongside that? And let's move on so I can show you how we solve that here at Fulcrum. What you're seeing here is Fulcrum Speedworks' Flying Spaghetti Monster, a unique silicone reusable vacuum bag system which consistently deploys the infusion and compaction layout required to build our boats without any waste materials. This decreases the amount of waste we create across our shop by a factor of between 50 and 90 percent, depending on how the numbers are stated. This contrasts with the previous industry standard system pictured here, which relies on single-use disposables which must be ripped from the inside of the hull and thrown away every time a boat is built. To illustrate this, we're going to use the actual materials that go into this, because we're not talking about a couple of mixing sticks here and there. We're talking about an enormous quantity of waste, which is innate to high performance boat. To start with, once your laminate, and this is actually foil laminates here, but this is fiberglass similar to what we use in the boats. This is the stuff you actually want. This is the stuff that's going into it. These are the materials that matter. These are the materials you're paying for. The next thing we're going to put down is what's called process media, which are purely disposable. First thing that goes down, and it's in the hull, about six yards of peel ply. This is a barrier layer. This is to tear away everything above it. It basically allows the band-aid to get ripped off. This is all disposable cloth here. Everything above it is waste. Next, we put down flow media. This is a black shade cloth. I believe it's ex-military. I have no idea. It's immensely thirsty, and we wallpaper the inside of the park with this. Every single part, you get this because it creates a good, consistent flow. But guess what? It traps material inside there. Then we go around the edge with rope and create a perimeter vacuum system made entirely out of rope. And this gets run around the outside just like that, the entire way around, in order to create a suction manifold around the outside. And this gets filled with resin, and this gets thrown away. Then. You put down tacky tape. It rolls of high grade rubberized tacky tape, which creates a seal perimeter around the outside. And that's just great because the next thing you're going to do is put down a huge, expensive, high quality, ultra vacuum rated sheet of vacuum bag. And then another sheet of vacuum bag for the other part because each one you're doing it at once. And this stuff, this isn't cheap. This isn't, you know, like. Nobody fired this out. This, a great deal of effort goes into making sure this is perfectly vacuum sealed so you can use it with great assurance because you're doing high quality stuff. But you're doing high quality stuff with disposable media. So somebody puts in all this effort, all these value added steps to something which is non value added to anybody who's buying the boat. And non value added to us, we just treat it as garbage, which is just ridiculous. And then, once you've created this enormous hodgepodge of materials here, the next thing that it does is it carries away a huge amount of resin with it after the fact because you're sucking resin under vacuum through this whole thing and the next thing you know, you pull it through here, guess what? It's not all gone from the inside of this material which is just to distribute it. You get what's called tails. In this case, the tails that we've saved from the UFO is not that. That is a prop. That is one pound of vinyl ester resin. What we saved pounds of highly purified and improved crude oil with incredible mechanical qualities, all of which, due to this system, are getting thrown away. Thanks to the distributor system we've built, it's all going into the park, and the rest of it that would have gone into all these tails, that would have been tails in this whole system, gone. That's the amount of garbage we're talking about. So now, as it's done, fabric is placed into the mold that will ultimately become the hull. 
is the fiberglass laminate that we will actually end up using, not a disposable piece of content. The reusable silicone vacuum bag descends from the sky on a hoist. Resin is sucked into the laminate under vacuum pressure. And the bag is once again hoisted up into the ceiling to wait to be used again. And that effort, though it may seem mundane, enables us to do this without this. This with less of this. What I'm driving at here is that our mission at Fulcrum Speedworks for our entire two years of operation has been if you can sail, you can fly. And that word can isn't just about the ease of use of the boat, the ease of setup, how, much it's, how well it fits on top of your car, how easy it is to store, how low maintenance it is. It's also about cost, that you can afford it. And unfortunately, the one thing that's missing most of the time from the notion of cost is environmental cost. We simply in this civilization don't account for environmental cost and pricing of things. But it matters to us still. And it matters to me a great deal that with this hull, virtually nothing went into the dumpster. And this put virtually nothing into the dumpster. And this one put virtually nothing into the dumpster. And that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Every hull in this shop was made at a lower environmental footprint, a lower factor of waste than any hull I have ever presided over in manufacturing. And that matters.